Gold and silver fall as markets bet on five hikes from hawkish Fed. Gold and silver fell further in London on Thursday, sliding against a surging U.S. dollar and extending the drop started when U.S. Central Bank Chair Jerome Powell roiled global markets overnight by saying the Fed will tighten monetary policy sooner and faster in the face of inflation running at multi-decade highs. Longer-term interest rates rose back towards this month's two-year highs as prices in the bond market dropped. But while commodities also fell, crude oil hit new seven-year highs amid fresh saber rattling between Moscow and the NATO alliance over Ukraine, with Washington and Berlin telling Russia that the Nord Stream 2 gas pipe won't open if it chooses to invade its neighbor. As gold priced in the dollar fell towards $1,800 per ounce, Asian stock markets closed Thursday sharply lower but European bursas rallied around lunchtime, showing a 0.3% gain. New York stock markets had yesterday erased an earlier 2% rise, sending the S&P 500 lower for the 12th in 16 sessions since New Year 2022's fresh all-time, as Powell acknowledged that inflation at 7% is running far above the Federal Reserve's 2% annual target, with growth and the labor market also strong. Answering questions from journalists after the Fed's official policy statement left overnight interest rates unchanged at 0% until March, Powell then hinted that rates might now be raised at every further policy meeting in 2022. Betting on end December's Fed rates now sees five hikes as the top likelihood, according to the CME Derivatives Exchange's Fed watch tool, with the odd of six or more hikes now outweighing the chance of four. Odds of U.S. Fed interest rate rises in 2022. Source. Bullion Vault via CME. The key words driving the overnight shakeout in stock markets were soon and strong, says base and bullion specialist Rona O'Connell at brokerage StoneX, reviewing the Fed statement and press conference today. But while the Fed now shows a hawkish but moderately pragmatic attitude towards addressing inflation in 2022, there's nothing in there that I can see justifying the money market's call for five hikes this year. So-called liftoff from 0 to 0.25% only became the consensus view for March after the Fed's meeting and statement in December, but a hike of 0.5 percentage points is now given a 1 in 5 chance. Gold bullion in London, part of the global precious metals market, dipped Thursday lunchtime towards $1,800 per ounce, hitting two-week lows down 2.7% from Tuesday's two-month peak. Silver prices meantime slipped through $23 per ounce for the first time this week, down 7.0% from last Thursday's two-month high. Despite the Fed's hawkish comments on U.S. policy, the giant GLD gold-backed ETF Investment Trust expanded again on Wednesday, needing 0.1% more bullion to back its shares in issue now at the most since mid-August. The smaller IAU Gold Trust was unchanged however, as was the giant SLV Silver ETF. With the dollar leaping on the currency market, hitting its highest since June 2020 on its trade, weighted with a daily jump of more than 1% both euro and UK gold prices in pounds per ounce fell less steeply than for US investors hitting only one-week lows at €1,613 and £1,348 respectively.